All right, you ready to pop off? Yeah. Hell you yeah. Want the, uh, tracker. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me, send me a tracker. Let's take a look at that. You Discord DM it to me. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Wait, what's the what's the name for the tracker? Um, uh, so it's not working for some reason. You can probably okay. find an older version of it. Yeah, yeah. On Mal tracker. Okay. Yeah. See it. All right, so let me let me swap scenes, and um, oh shoot, wait, let me set up the Discord bubble thing. Okay, change the ring, one sec. So currently gold one. All right, and we don't have that many games played this act, so I'm gonna look at the, the last act so far. Let's see what happened last act. So 144 damage per round, 1 point KD. Okay, this is pretty good. Half shot percentage is pretty decent too. Win percentage is a little bit on the lower end though. Um, Let's see. So you mainly play Reyna? Reyna and Jet? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, your Reyna stats are insane. 182 damage per round. Win percentage is a little bit low, though. Um, so, I noticed in your match history, you've been filling a lot. Like Cypher, Neon, Omen, Astra, Sky. Um... So filling isn't bad, but I would say though, I wouldn't recommend um, filling. The reason why I don't like filling is mainly because you're not really comfortable on those agents. And when you're focused too much on your own like utility and what you should be doing and the positioning on that agent. So it's like, you know, when you're playing Reyna and then you swap over and playing safe for the next game, you have to play Cypher completely different than you have to play Reyna. And you have to be more cautious of like all of that uh all that stuff um and then you spend less time focusing on like the enemy team the enemy team's habits what they should be doing um and stuff so that's why i usually recommend just playing uh, like one to two agents like max and just literally insta lock them um and don't worry too much about the team comp team comp doesn't matter all that much but um when you spend less time focusing on what you're doing and you're just kind of more comfortable um then you'll probably be able to exploit the enemy team a little bit more. So, yeah, and then, okay, looks good. Um, all right, all right, cool, 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 cool. So, yeah, if you could share your screen and hop on the practice range, I want to make sure that it's not laggy or anything. I don't think it is. I asked um, a few people to make sure it wasn't. Nice, hell yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so, yeah, try sharing your screen. Whenever um, I screen sh share, it stops it. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, right okay, away. try now, try now, try now. There. There we go, okay. Sorry. All right. Tell me when to start, Q. Okay. Um. One sec. Uh. Well, can you can you hop in the? I just want to check in the practice range just to make sure. Just to triple check real fast. All right. How long have you been playing for? I started like at the end of episode five or oh, act five. 
Okay. Is this your first FPS? Yeah, technically. Okay. All right, yeah, looks good. Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. Okay, you can queue. You can queue whenever. Okay. Joel's hope you have a fantastic day so far. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, looks really good. Starry, Starry with the 12 months resub entire year. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Shuji Sato with the 16 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the support, guys. Is there game audio? There is, yeah. I'll just have to turn it up a little bit, but we're chilling. Uh, we're chilling, we're chilling. I'm eating Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is pretty good, but uh, I think Popeyes is better, low key. Joel, you never had a sh uh, shawarma? I did, I did. I had one um, not too long ago for the first time. <laughs> How do you avoid flashes with low sense? You don't. You close your eyes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello, Kay. How's it going? So if you had to guess, what would you say like you're struggling with? Like what would you say is like the biggest thing? Jones, Holy shit. I want you to all be daddy. Oh. Thank you, of thank you, thank issues. you. Okay. So like where they were, where you saw them and then remembering where you saw them or like just awareness in general of like where you're it's hearing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 How often do you Oh, what's Why is your mic all crunchy? What is yeah. that? What does that sound? <laughs> It match found. Like, oh, I just turned off my monitor. Oh Hold shit! On. Everything's falling apart. I have um, <laughs> a gaming laptop, and I have to lean my monitor against it because there's not enough space on my desk for it. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Let's lock in our whatever agent you want to play. If you, if you like playing your duelist or your Reina or your Jet, whatever you want to do, yeah, lock it in. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Jet got wrecked. Yeah. No, she did. Uh, she got super nerfed, so uh, she's still playable though. So like, don't don't be discouraged and be like, oh my god, Jet got nerfed to the ground. She's unplayable. She's not. She can still be played. Um, it just she did get nerfed. That's all. Yeah. The only thing that I notice is the dash because I start dash way too early sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Dash the smoke time. Like honestly. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. Those nerfs actually like really mess with her. But some people still really like her. So, how often do you check the mini map? Not that often. Okay. All right. So that will probably definitely help with awareness in general. So a good time to like when to look and when not to look. Because a lot of people are like, oh my god, you know, I always I looked at the mini map and then died. Right. So every time your teammates or the enemy team gets a kill you should be glancing at the minimap real fast quick little you know check where did your teammate die from where did your teammate get a kill right all of this is very important information so anytime that happens like i see a little notification on the top right like that someone died or someone got a kill whatever i immediately just try and quickly gl glance at the minimap real fast just to see like where um so that might help as well I always get timing look at the minimap yeah and if you can yeah like also another time too is like if you want to glance at the minimap make sure that you just just tuck under cover real fast glance at the minimap and then when you you know you're done looking at it you can peek back again so that's another issue that people just stay out in the open when they look at the, no the minimap so All right, go smokes. We're chilling. It's goodbye. Mm -hmm. Brisk with the primer. Appreciate it. Thank you. Starry with the five gifted. Thanks again for that. Sorry about that. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Do I like sunset? Do you like sunset? I don't know. Do you? Mm hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. 
Save inside a chain. Oh, sight. I wonder what our sense is. Fight down A. Shot. Oh, let's try. Okay. Last player standing. Silva and Viper are dead. Uh, little, little unfortunate there that we dashed in and our teammates did not push in with that. Um, um, I forget to call it sometimes. Yeah, it's all good. Just yeah, if you do want to dash in, you do want to entry. Just you know, we can we can all we can comment to our team. Just be like, hey, I'm gonna dash in. Follow me up, right? Or like, I'm gonna dash in and then we can run in or something like that, right? Just some sort of. Okay. Anyway, we lost first round, so this round's gonna be a save. Um, I would recommend just lurking somewhere here. So let's go A. Our teams are, okay. are towards B. We're going to go A. The goal isn't to win this round, but rather try and just get one. And if you're, you can do that by just lurking and doing your own thing. So just walk up A maybe. See if you can get a timing or something. Also, what sense do you play on? 0.95. 800 DPI? 1,600. <laughs> 1,600 DPI. It's because I used to have a really small mouse pad. I'm used to having a small one still. Okay, well, that makes like sense. A small space to move my hand. Reloading. Yeah, all good. No worries, no worries, no worries. We need to lower this. Last player standing. Okay, that's right, that's right. So do you do you still have a small mouse pad? Or how big is it? No, I have like arms length space for my mouse. Okay. All right. Are you a wrist aimer or do you use your arm to aim? I use my wrist. Okay. So even even using your wrist, so it is it is high sense, and it is it's very high. It's very it's very very high. I think it's like almost. Let's see. One point. It is like. 6x my sense. Oh. Yeah. Um, I was on like 20,000 DPI. Because <laughs> I didn't know the stop of the mouse. Okay, all good. No worries. Uh, we uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll show you some some exercises that you can do to finding a really good sense for us. Um, but my um ascendant friend told me to find sense. A spike, no, spike, spike down B. I didn't know they had specters. Oh good, no worries. Oh, no worries. Handle. Okay, so one one thing I'm noticing right away Last is like we're really running in and our teammates are literally sitting behind and not doing anything. So with this in mind, we should probably not be grouping up with them and not entering our uh, site. So um, let's just try and like work up up somewhere, like maybe like mid next time we have a gun round. Uh, okay, so yeah, we could. I think we save this round. Yeah, this is a save. We'll buy for next. Yeah, sheriff is fun. I don't personally like buying light armor when I'm buying sheriffs, but it's it's more of a preference thing. I just like saving it, so um, just to kind of build up an econ. But yeah. So yeah, let's just try let's just try lurking again, try and getting a kill, doing our own thing. I didn't expect Raze to just satchel in there. Watch out for Rana, KJ. I, I have the spike. You can rotate. Uh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that like? What the heck? Let's go B, Pedro. Yeah, you guys have to get bomb though. Oh, I thought I grabbed bomb. Yeah. I grab. I think I grabbed the Bucky instead. It's all Listen, good. Bomb grenade. Bomb grenade out. Probably right around this corner. Drop. They know we're rotating. 
Yeah, I think you guys can still rotate towards left. me though. Swamp. You probably can, yeah. I got the spike down mid. Ugh. Okay, good try, good try, all good. All right, we have guns this round, so let's look to go towards mid. So try not to go A or B. Your teammates aren't really getting any trades, so let's work mid. Try and take these fights on on Reyna, who's probably gonna peek. Probably the sense is really holding them back. Yeah, but it's not something I want them to change right now. So we'll talk about it after the game. Let's go. I didn't know that I was a high sense at first. Oh, you're chilling. Don't worry about it. No worries at all. I heard deadlock sensor. Cat. Oh yeah, kill him. You can spam that. I nice. Didn't know that. Oh, that was all yep. Let's try and trade us over here. Oh, she fell. Okay, you guys could probably go towards B here. Oh, hello? Wait, hello? I just got a major leg spike. <laughs> oh, shoot, yeah. Your game, like, froze for me. Are you good now? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. On my screen, Viper is still shooting at KJ when I died. <laughs> yeah, there was a huge lag spike. Uh, wait, open up your settings real fast. Um, go to video. Okay, you see on all the way to bottom, you've seen a video reflex low latency. Turn that on plus boost. Okay. Yeah. And... Yeah. You could even change your display to full screen instead of windowed full screen but i know it fucks with your alt tabbing but it might help with performance okay all right let's try mid again do i buy light shield or... yeah um yeah i could go with light shield just so you can get smokes try mid again though Monitor's at 60 hertz. Yeah, I'll ask about that after. Oh, whoa, whoa. We could go, um, pizza. I got spike down A. Brace, that's rotating. Yeah, kind of wasting our smokes a little bit. Did you get another lag spike? Last player standing. Yeah. Try try changing the um, Discord setting or Discord stream setting to 1080p 30 FPS. I normally don't play. Weird. Yeah, I'm not we sure. Pick, we move in. Got it? There. Okay, hopefully this fixes it. Also, do you have a... What kind of monitor do you have? Is it 60 hertz? I don't know. It's oh, it's a laptop, monitor, right? Like had. Yeah. Ah, okay, 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 yeah. This yeah, is no worries. I'm just using a monitor separately. Ah, okay. What's this? Oh. Nowhere to run! Yeah, I think it's more of like the sense thing. I think having like higher sense would definitely help a lot here. Destroyed. Well divided. My territory, my rules. Recovering it. Recovering it. Watch your first over. Nice. Could be another one. Oh, dinks. What's that ding? That's kind of crazy.
Yeah, careful with yeah, the quick switching too. That's one thing that I'm noticing. Like you're quick switching a lot, right? They pull out the knife, pull out the gun. Uh, every time you're doing this, you kind of like give them time and space, and it kind of like messes us up. Um, so in situations like that, it's just better to have like the gun out. Let's go try though. Let's go try. I'm like panicking. You're chilling. No worries. No worries. That's right. It's the defense sided, so. Ba -ba -da. We should try five stacking, maybe. Up here. Because they push out here. fast. I was playing ranked bronze and I dropped 34, 17, and then I got 20 RR. Why is that? I know I have high MR because I'm queuing with silvers and shit. Um, I don't know. Just wait. wait. If you have high MMR, you should be getting more RR, so. It could be that you don't have high MMR, Welcome but everyone you're playing with has low MMR. MMR maybe. My problem Here. today. <clears throat> Here. We should rotate off. Yeah, I just rotate. Just leave these guys. I don't know. They're not really doing much. They could be pushed up mid though. Careful here, yeah. They're plenty B. Astro's plenty B. You should find a way to get there. Sight Can. Blocking sight. Blocking sight. My ready. Yeah, you gotta run. They're on ball. Yeah, you have to go. Last player oh. 80 viper, they're on the Nice try. Nice try. Play was right though. Yeah, we had to get on site fast. It's definitely like micro adjustment issues. It's the sense is way too high. Way too high. We fixed this and I think we're going to be fine. Guys, come on. The spike. Just five stack aim it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The game score depends on the amount of RR. True, true. Yeah, like if you went into OT, like it was like 16, 14 OT. Yeah, you're probably not going to get that much. Game score, performance, MMR. Those are the three things that matter on how much RR you actually get. Placing sentry. What is A? Plant the spike. Oh, oh nice try. Okay, okay. Yeah, there was some hesitation there. I, I think like there was I'm not sure. Like there was there was one heaven and our teammates were on the other side of the wall and we were still stuck on the outside of the wall, you know what I mean? Uh, if our teammates push to the other side, I would push with them to try and make sure that we're playing off of each other and we're kind of there to, to trade them out. Um, so yeah, anytime like there's kind of like nothing going on on your screen, um, I would look at the minimap, just see like what's happening, what are they looking at, where's the enemy team, you know? I saw the Viper pop up on your minimap like four times, so. Yeah, I forgot. It's all good, it's all good. Okay, go tiles. Go, don't go B, don't go B. Every time we've been like rushing stuff, it's not been working. Let's just go mid. Let's go through tiles here. Alright. Yeah, this one's fine too, but so let's just start mid. I thought you meant. Yeah, you're chilling, you're chilling, no worries. Okay, let's try and get to where Sova is here, because we want to try and trade. Uh, on the left? Oh. Last player standing. No worries, no worries, no worries. No worries, we're chilling. Listen, we get two here, we win the pistol, we win the game. Yeah. Gun here. I don't know why Aspen is fine, Judge. Like, 
Judge only, I guess. I don't know. Or they're just broke. Okay, guys, listen, chat. Chat, listen up, okay? This is important. I need you guys to pay attention. Do not ever... Do not ever be mean to the person that we are coaching. Ever. At any circumstance whatsoever, okay? I am the one coaching them, yeah, not you guys. We don't want to hear your feedback about anything like that, all right? Just try and keep things respective and positive. We're all here to learn at the end of the day. Player standing. Spike down B. Man. Archangel Roy with the 16 months reset. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, Gavin? What's going on? How's your day going? Day's good. Got a haircut. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Do you do all your coaching when you're streaming? Uh, the free coaching, yes. Um, however, uh, private coaching is offline. So. Round in the half. You lose everything after this. Spend it. Need a drop. Yeah, you have knives. You can go full armor. Yeah. Yeah, might as well and just pop your knife. I mean, whatever, as long as you have full armor, because you're just going to go off of your knives here. Okay, so they've been playing aggressive mid here, so let's try and. We really need to be ready for this mid swing. So someone is going to be playing close mid. I would just pop your knives and look for the fight. What's this? Mid, 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 mid. They're like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're good. You're good. You're good. The, that's it. So where, like, market area and like close to mid like that like those are the first angles that you should be looking at because they can't swing you cat right away you know what i mean so always be thinking about like which angle is going to be a more of a priority angle to look at and it's definitely going to be towards mid first and then it's going to be towards cat so um last player standing spike down mid you will not kill my allies Welcome to my world. Switching sides. Match point. Everyone, no. Then let's run it again. Okay, the comeback starts here. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> you got this, you got this. Na, 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 na. Let's take at least one down with us. Tiles one. Yeah. I think they're going B. You could probably walk up here. I would walk up. I would walk up tiles. Yeah. Oh, they're falling off. Oh. Oh, that's right. Yeah, just gonna rotate, go towards mid. They all made noise B and then rotate the two tiles. Need that back. Spike planted. That creature is dead. Last player standing. Oh no. <laughs> One down. Oh, this is risky. It could have definitely been up. They could still be up. Could be on the right here. Could be on the left. Double walled. One enemy remaining. Oh. Attackers okay. win. All right. All good. No worries. It happens. It happens. I wouldn't worry about this game. Some games are just, unfortunately, like team diffs. This is one of those cases. It's like, yeah, we probably could have played a little bit better, but your whole team wasn't doing anything at all productive at all. Um, so don't worry too much about that. Don't worry about that. Okay, hop in the practice range real fast. 
I want to I want to go over some uh, some some stuff that I think is gonna help you find like your sense. A good rule of thumb to kind of think about is like twenty percent of the games you can't you can't win no matter what, no matter how well you play. Twenty percent of the games you can't lose no matter what, right? Like you just have a good team, everyone's just doing well, they're carrying your ass, you know. And then you have sixty percent of the games where if you play just slightly better, you probably could have won that game. That was not one of those games. That's like, if you played better, you probably would have lost 13-3 instead of 13-4. So, okay, hit hit the practice. Spawn the bots real fast. Okay. And back up all the way to the wall. All right. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what you're going to do is you're going to move from left to right, and you're just going to try and trace the bot's head while you're moving. Yeah, so pick one and just one bot and, and keep... Uh, tracing it try moving all the way to the right all the way to the left yeah keep doing it okay so you see how it's like very shaky for us to do this so keep trying keep trying yeah not supposed to be shaky? yeah it's not supposed to be shaky and what's what what this is telling me is that our sense is way too high so what you're gonna want to do is try and yeah, it's like you're skipping around a little bit too much. So the sense is, is way too high. Okay, this is going to sound crazy, but I want you to half your sense right now. Literally, whatever sense you're on... Oh, wait, okay, wait, you're 0.195. Oh, I thought you said 0.95. No. Okay, wait. So you're 0 0.195, 1600 DPI. Okay, that's not that bad then. Never mind, never mind. That's really not that bad at all. Um... Okay, 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 okay. Uh, however, though, I, I am still seeing... Okay, go go to your settings. And go to... Okay, do you see raw input buffer right there? Put that on on. Yeah, and then try and see if you notice a difference with your aiming. See if that changed. It probably didn't change anything, but I just want to confirm. Do you notice any difference when you're moving your mouse? And try like swinging your mouse around. Yeah. Do you notice the difference at all or no? Really? Or is it just okay? Okay, so it's probably the same. Okay. Um. So your your sense really isn't that bad. Wait, did you say it's sixteen hundred DPI or sixteen thousand DPI? Um, one thousand six hundred. One thousand six hundred. Okay. All right, yeah, the sense isn't that bad. For some reason, I'm noticing though, like our our aim is is more of like pretty shaky when we're we're moving around. So, all right, let me let me share my screen and let me go over some aiming exercises that I think is going to help you out. Then, uh, I I think a big thing of of our inconsistencies is definitely going to be our our aim, um, and especially our micro adjustments, because. Um, yeah, a lot of times we're kind of just swinging our mouse around and it's hard for us to kind of like calibrate our aim uh, when we're trying to shoot. So uh, I'm not entirely sure why that's happening. I thought it was because you had very, very high sense, but your sense doesn't seem that bad. So um, it's more of just like practicing, I think, these these mechanics. So let me let me share my screen one second. Just booting up Valorant. Mouse and hands pointer position, it gets nulled if you have raw input buffer on. So that's why I had them turn it on. I wanted to make sure. Okay. Let me share my screen. All right. Let me know if you see that. Can you see my screen? Um. Or is it paused right now? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's paused. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can you see now? Yeah. No. Yes. No. Yeah. You can. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. All right. So. Um. Yeah, so a couple a couple of aiming exercises that I think is going to help you because 
you, a lot of the times like you do this thing where you kind of like over over aim like let's say you wanted to aim for this target here right and you're aiming already on this one so what i would notice is like you do something like this where like you, you like flick your mouse and then you readjust it right like it's like the the aim is just it's not like you, you can't just like aim uh smooth from one target to the other and a big reason of that is just we, we're not super comfortable with with how we're aiming right now or we have like some inconsistencies with our aim so a good exercise to uh to do this is like going back to this back wall and doing this tracing thing one so start off by doing this tracing exercise so uh when you're doing this tracing thing you do this like thing where you skip like this you know what i mean like the the crosshair is very skippy and you want to get to a point where it looks smooth or a lot smoother and that way you have like really good and you can swap to a different target and then yeah so you want it to be very smooth and very this is very easy for you to do and after you get this down where you're like all right i got to a point where it's not as skippy anymore so now what you're going to want to do is kind of just pick Man. two like or, or, or start shooting at the bots but when you're shooting at the bots don't focus too much on getting the kill or, or doing it fast or anything like this your main focus is you want to aim from one to the other one but not overshoot so you don't want to like do this where you're like aiming at one and then you want to aim to this one but instead you just go like this and then you just kind of readjust so you don't want to do this right you see where i just like i'm like overshooting and then i recorrect it so what you want to do is just like aim right aim and you just do it slow do it slow at the start so you're not like aiming over aiming right it's just like we're, we're just very meticulous with Man. with our aim um and very controlled and you just go slow you do this very slow and then after a while you're like okay i can probably start to look to speed this up a little bit um and, and you'll just get like really really controlled with it it's fine if you don't get the kills it's fine if it's like super slow or, or whatever i'm more focused on whether your crosshair is aiming at the right target um rather than over aiming so instead of like going like this where you know you just like you know you, you swing way too wide and then you readjust you're just kind of just doing like this little controlled movement right and just keep practicing this and keep practicing this and then when you get this down that's when um I would say that you have a better a better feel of micro adjusting in general and then we can kind of go uh to the next thing which would be like starting to do that same thing but up close so start off by doing this tracing thing that i mentioned and then you know doing this little uh practice exercise so then after you've done it all the way back there you want to make sure that you're doing it up close as well so do the same thing right like pick one target try and trace their their head it should this should be a lot easier for you up close and that's because you um have more of a higher sense or um you're just more accustomed to faster motions um so this should be a lot easier for you um but yeah practice this try and trace the head you know then swap maybe do, shoot, pick a different one pick a different one and then just keep doing this it looks smooth and you're like all right all right we're getting this um after you get that down same same thing right we want to pick we want to start shooting at these bots but we don't want to over aim you don't want to you don't want to like shoot one and then like you know do this like weird swinging motion just slow and you can you can go you can start very slow like this super slow methodical and you can add some strafes in there if you want to you can start off uh, sitting still too, by the way, for all of these exercises, if it's easier for you. And then you can start adding um, <clears throat> movement to it. But yeah. And yeah, after you get this down, so you've done all of these, one up close, one further back. Then we want to make sure that our sprays are good too. So sometimes I'm noticing when you're spraying, your bullets kind of tend to go with their feet or kind of all over the place. So some, uh, it's leading me to believe that our spray control isn't necessarily the best. Not that spraying is bad. It's not, it's not that spraying is bad. There's definitely a good use for it. And when we are spraying, we just need to make sure that our sprays are going to be good. So what you want to do is get close to a wall and kind of spray at the wall like this until your bullets kind of look very um, clustered like this. And then... You just do it again, and then you back up. Maybe go 12 meters now, and then we do it again. As long as it doesn't look like this. If it looks like this, we're like, okay, we're kind of throwing, right? So you just want it, like, super clustered. You don't want the spread to be too, like, all over the place. Like this. 
like this. All right, and we're like, all right, my sprays are looking good, and now we're gonna take this over to the bots. You're gonna pick one to two targets, right? So I'm gonna do this, and you start off headshot, headshot with the spray transfer, headshot, 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 headshot. You just don't want it to look like this. Don't want it to look like this, where you're aiming at the toes or kneecaps or whatever. Um, just headshot, headshot, and just start off slow. If it looks like this, that's okay too. That's okay. As long as we're just like, you know, slowly trying to increase and get better at it and then eventually you'll be able to just like spray control two targets pretty easily and then we're gonna add a third one in there so you'll do one two you know three one two three one two three one two three one two three um <clears throat> yeah and i wouldn't worry about practicing this for the range i think up close is the only one that really matters uh anything further than this and you're like all right i probably would be bursting this range anyway so no sense really practicing this all too much um but yeah um so i think these exercises are definitely going to help you a lot when it comes to your mechanics i think your mechanics are like the main thing right now to, to focus on um as for like in-game stuff so uh a couple things with in-game and this is just going to be more of actually let me hop into the map real fast just to kind of go over it but um with uh with your in-game stuff it's just more of like understanding what's working and what's not working so on attack side right especially on attack side this is going to be very important for us for us to know but like a couple times like you decided to like rush in to b you're right and then b didn't work and then you're like all right let's go a let's five stack a let's five stack b let's you know what i mean and we're just kind of like going a b a b and we're just rushing stuff so when is rushing not good rushing is not good if we are pushing in a site and our teammates are not following us up. So they're just sitting back in main, right? Like we are on attack side and we go B main and we decide to dash out to um, to uh, the switch here. And we just, you know, we're all the way out here. We push the switch, we're looking for fights and our teammates are still back here just chilling. Yeah, I'm not rushing anymore with them. Like it, it just doesn't, they're not, with, they're not with me. They're not pushing with me. We don't, we don't do this anymore. <laughs> We're not going to get traded. It's very bad. It happened on a site too when we did just decided to dash in the gen. <clears throat> so if I notice that like two, three times happening, yeah, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to go mid. I'm going to go tiles like, and I'm going to look for an early fight, you know, and just work the map by myself. Or if they want to make noise somewhere, I can lurk up somewhere. Um, and we just kind of like, you know, wait for them to make a lot of noise on a, maybe we start hearing some rotations. This guy walks up mid, I get a free kill or something. Um, so don't be afraid to lurk if rushing and pushing into site as a team isn't working. Um, you, Your teammates might rage at you because you're a duelist and you're lurking, but um, what you need to understand and what they don't understand is that the role for a duelist isn't to entry. <clears throat> it's something that they can do, but that's not the main role for a duelist. The main role for a duelist is to take space. And to take space, yeah, they can take space on a site by pushing in as a team, or pushing into switch and, and taking space that way, but they can also take space by lurking up mid if their team is, like if your team is making a lot of noise towards A and you decide to just work up mid here and you know, you're looking for like early fights and you know, you took all of this space. Yeah, this is also really good to do as well. So, um, and then you're like, all right team, come back towards B, I have B side, right? Or whatever. Um, that's definitely something that you guys can do. Um, so don't feel inclined to like, you have to like rush in with your team always. Um, and another thing, this is a very important thing. So two things, two more things uh, that I noticed, I think. Um, and and the, the first one would just be like awareness. So looking at the mini map, anytime, if I'm chilling like back here and I'm about to push an A site and you know, our entire team's like over here and I'm just chilling. I'm looking at the mini map. I'm looking at the mini map, looking at the mini map, looking at the mini map. Okay, now I focus on the game, focus on the game. And it's like, okay, I want to dash in. Sure, we can, you know, uh, we can go into, into gen here and, uh, you know, create the space. And then as soon as I'm in sight, so let's like, if I decided to push into sight here, so let's say I'm looking at the game, I'm looking at the game and um, I would look real fast. Like I would definitely try and like, 
look around, see what you see, and like see if anything pops up on the mini map. And then after your back site, like let's say I, I get it to Jen, like I'm getting Jen right now. I'm looking at the mini map again. I'm just trying to see like what is my teammate seeing, what am I seeing, and then I'm like looking back at the game. So basically, anytime I'm like chilling like this, where I'm not peeking an active angle, I'm probably gonna glance at the mini map real fast. Now it's like back to the game, back to the game. I'll clear, I'll clear. Everything's clear. Everything's clear. Back to the mini map. I'm looking at the mini. I'm staring at the mini map right now because like I've cleared everything else. I don't have to worry about anything. It's not like they're gonna just drop down from heaven and look right at me. But if they, even if they do, I'll be able to react fast. So, um, basically, anytime you're not taking an active angle, you should be looking at the minimap. And anytime your teammates get a kill or you or, or uh, the enemy team gets a kill somewhere, just try and glance at the minimap to find out where they, did they die from. Where is your teammates dying from? Uh, very important to do. Um, it'll help with awareness. So, um, yeah. And then the last thing that I wanted to also mention, if you notice your teammates fighting... Like, there was a few times where your Sova was kind of, like, pushed up here on Cat, and we were kind of just, like, too far behind. We're not in a good spot to trade them. You want to be close to the race, so you can, like, be ready to just, like, get this trade. Get this, like, or, like, as soon as your teammate dies, you're there to get that trade. So, if you see your teammates shooting or taking fights, you want to be there to take fights with them. You want to be there to trade them um right away so yeah good rule of thumb your teammates shooting their gun you want to shoot your gun with them and swing with them um so just playing more off of your teammates i think is going to be like a big thing for you um so yeah other than that they're not there's a bunch of like minor stuff too but i think those are the main things that you should focus on if i if i give you any more info i think it's just going to be too overwhelming and it's not really worth it but uh i think like if you fix those things you'll definitely start ranking up fast so um yeah, any questions about any of that? Oh, I, th I thought I'd mind, sorry. Um, no, not really. Okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, all right, all right. Well, if you do get any questions down the line, so feel free to Discord DM me. My DMs are always open to everyone I've coached. Um, and yeah, and if you ever want to kind of rewatch it or get a little recap of, uh, this session, it'll be on, it'll be uploaded on YouTube within like two weeks or so. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, good luck in your ranked games. If you're playing more today and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Have a good one. Take it easy. See ya. Bye. All right. All right. W session. W session.